a new function Zoom has introduced is the ability to share into breakout rooms. Share screen in Zoom. Hi, my name is Eric and today I want to show you everything you need to know about the share screen function in Zoom. Here we are in Zoom. You want to go down here to the green button that says share screen and now you've got some options. The tab at the top says basic, advanced and files. At basic you can share the whiteboard or any other files that you have. You open it up first and then you share it and your participants will be able to see what you're sharing. You can also go and annotate and write on it if you need to and then clear afterwards. One of the most important share screen functions is the whiteboard. So you go here to the whiteboard, you can clear, you can write some things down like when I work with my students I can give them some tasks. So for example I can say, I can ask them what is your favorite color and you can change things about it. For example the format, you can change the size, you can change the color you can write some things down. Sometimes you want the students to use this information in breakout rooms. You can ask them to take a screenshot or you can just save it, open it up and then you go to chat and you send it to the students and now you ask them to open it up in their breakout rooms. A new function Zoom has introduced is the ability to share into breakout rooms. So let's open up a breakout room. We'll just create the one, open the rooms. If you go to share screen, you'll see down here it says share to breakout rooms. You can con hold control to select multiple windows to send and to share. Let's just share this one file. It says you are sharing to breakout rooms. The one problem to sharing in breakout rooms is that you cannot go and visit the breakout rooms. That is why I still ask my students to take a screenshot and to share it in the room so that I can move around. But sometimes you just want the students to see a picture or to share something else like a PDF or PPT. When you go to advanced, you can do something else. You can share the PowerPoint as a virtual background. When you share a PowerPoint, you will appear in there, a video of yourself, and this makes it really good for presentations because they can see you and they can see the PPT that you are sharing. You can move yourself around, you click here and you go through the slides. Something else that you can do is you go to share screen, you can share a portion of the screen, you can share audio, video, or if you have a second camera. You can also share files from Dropbox or Google Drive. Share screen is one of the best and most useful tools in Zoom. 